Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? And welcome to the week one guide for Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6, guys. And this week is going to be a lot of work. Listen, there's a lot of new things in the game, all really exciting. So much great content for you guys. I'm going to be picking multiple people from the comments to give away the battle pass to. So all you guys have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and comment down below with your epic. And I will be gifting a bunch of you the battle pass, guys. All right, let's jump into the challenges. All right, guys. So for this first challenge, we are actually going to be investigating an anomaly at Loot lake guys now this is actually some form of a puzzle challenge and it took me a little bit to find it but it actually was really easy once i did so basically you're going to go ahead and head down into the blue house to my left here i'm not quite sure if the other house works this way as well a butterfly will appear once you enter the house once you get into the house you need to follow the butterfly to the area of which you will be completing this puzzle to investigate the anomaly at loot lake so go ahead and follow that little butterfly all the way does down those stairs and you will find this little table of which you will need to sequence the jewels in the correct order now the color I had to guess a few times that I finally got it um, is going to be as so so in order to complete this you're going to start with the red one pick the purple one of the blue one and the green one and it will complete it if you're saying from that one it is the back one the left one the front one and the right one then you will complete the anomaly you unlock a new style and you will just take the L dance on your team listen easy 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 once you go ahead and watch this video hey you can thank me later listen i went through all the pain just for you guys <laughs> on to the next challenge so for the main legendary weekly we are going to have tirana and so tirana's weekly is basically to craft items and upgrade weapons from the primal now in order to do that you are actually going to have to hunt animals and also scrap cars which are also part of the other two weekly so this aligns greatly it's easy to do um and it also aligns with this new feature that is new to season six which is basically the ability to upgrade your weapons through in-game resources so once you find a wolf pack or say you find a car all you guys have to do is eliminate them collect their scraps and then i will show you here you open up your upgrade menu and you are able to upgrade your weapon to another rarity of primal weapon or with mechanical scraps you can actually upgrade your weapons to previous weapons from the other seasons which are like the regular pump or the purple pump and so on Honestly, there are a lot of areas that these animals could spawn. I just figured I was going to go to Weeping Woods because, I mean, wolves, the woods, I don't know. I, I just thought it made sense. So I found most of my animals there. There's also boars and frogs. There's all types of different animals that you could hunt. The, the frogs actually tend to stick near the rivers, but the rest of the animals, I think, can spawn anywhere. So make sure you guys are being careful. And while you are at it, once you are done with this as well, all of these weekly challenges are really intertwined with another. So sorry that it seems it's a little bit mished together, but it has to be because there's just so much that you you can do at the same time which i think is great uh once you do that you can actually take the meat that you get from the animals those haunches of meat and upgrade to a hunter's cloak now this is part of one of the weekly challenges i'm not really quite sure what the hunter's cloak does yet uh but it is part of the weekly so go ahead and take that meat that you get from those wolves from those boys and craft that hunter's cloak to complete that one so to kind of jump back a new feature or a new resource is going to be mechanical parts and now as you guys can see we are going to be doing this by destroying vehicles trailers or trucks that are found around the map now these mechanical parts aren't exactly used to upgrade the primal weapons but used to actually upgrade the primal weapons to be the former like pump shotguns and so on i'm not really quite sure this is the, the extent of which you can use mechanical resources on every weapon but to my knowledge i was able to upgrade a pump to a, a a primal pump shotgun to an actual pump shotgun um and so yeah guys what's basically what you want to do is land somewhere where there's a lot of cars something i didn't do here basically definitely don't hit the truck until it explodes like i did let's try to be smart unlike me um and these cars will give you the mechanical parts you need to go ahead and complete this and uh, move on with your life once you actually collect the mechanical parts in part two what the game is going to want you to do is actually to use the mechanical parts to then upgrade a weapon to like the from the primal shotgun to the pump shotgun and that will basically be both steps of that challenge for that Alrighty. Alrighty guys, so for this next challenge, you're going to be finding golden artifacts at the newest Spire, which is basically the central main POI of this new season. And this is a doozy, guys. Listen, one, they're hard to find, and two, this is a heavily contested area, so it might just be a little painful. You might want to roll up with your squad for this one. Uh, but basically, these little golden artifacts are going to be found in the various buildings at the Spires. Now, I'm not sure if these locations are exactly exact or if they're randomized per lobby. I would guess that 
that they are randomized but as you guys can see here i basically found the ones i did in random locations at the spires around that little area in these little nooks under beds in the corners and this last one which is actually like a meow cat uh, that was basically sitting there. I didn't know he was a golden artifact, but I guess they decided he was. Uh, so yeah, guys, this is a pretty straightforward challenge. You just got to go in there, survive, and then search the houses and you'll get it done. Step two of the following challenge is going to ask you to talk to random characters around the map. Now, in order to do that, it's basically just like last season, guys. There's various NPCs that are all, all, all the locations, basically. Uh, and all you have to do is go to the ones at the chat bubble, talk to them, talk to them three times, and it's a GG, guys. This challenge is as straightforward as it gets. I know this was a little sporadically randomly placed, but listen, guys, this is an easy one. Once you see that pop up, make sure you click on a couple of those chat bubbled players and you call it a day guys you call it a day okay guys so that is going to be all the challenges you need to know for season six week one fortnite chapter two these are all of the epic weekly challenges guys reminder you will have various rare and common challenges to complete as well on a daily basis but listen this is really easy this week guys there's so much of the challenges that is basically teaching you the function and the core of what this season is going to operate on and so i apologize that it wasn't exactly ordered but listen trust me when you're doing it you're going to understand this is relatively free-flowing really easy to accomplish nothing too crazy and you know i got you guys with the puzzles guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe remember i'm going to be giving some people from the comments down below the paddle pass so please 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 drop that comment with your epic guys all right i hope you guys enjoy the new season welcome to fortnite chapter two season six let's get it